All right, so uh, the end of the last video saw our computer fail to uh, calculate the lighting, and then I tried it again just to confirm that in fact the computer failed to calculate the lighting. So um, the last thing we did before the computer failed, it crashed by the way, I had to reset, I did do a hard reset of the computer. So uh, let's change this back to 2048. Uh, because the other setting won't work. Save all. And uh, let us reduce the size of the S. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty big, and I'm pretty impressed, but let us reduce the size of the S. 500? Do you think 500 is a good size? Not sure, really. Uh, let me crank this back down to 5. Alright, now we're down to 500 size S. It's probably, uh, it's probably still a pretty big size. Let me move that to like there. And I guess we can make the, the boxes smaller now. So, uh, light mass importance volume, I guess this can be like 5 and 6, and uh, move that to cover the S, and then this thing will be 90, well, 90 and uh, 130 and we'll move that there and that should be better now save so if we play and there's the buttress there's the question mark i mean the exclamation mark which is all good and uh if we take this, and I guess we can build preview quality, build. And hopefully this doesn't crash. Um, and hopefully the shadows are going to be decent, because we made the S significantly smaller. Although the you know the light mass quality is still only two o four eight. Uh yeah. So I'm I'm guessing it the, the four o nine six light mass quality just is too much, and the computer can't handle it, and it just crashes, or there's a memory leak, or something. Which kind of makes sense. Like you're not supposed to have giant light maps, really, or giant meshes. It's um like I I want to. <laughs> I mean, the whole reason I'm making this giant mesh is because I want to walk on these letters. But you can also like make a, a whole kind of whole sea of letters to walk on. And you don't have to walk on one giant S like this. You can kind of make like a, a lot of smaller letters and then walk across those. That's also possible. It would be a little bit messy, but it might make more sense to be honest. Um, We'll see if the computer crashes here. I hope it doesn't. So 92. So the previous two times when we tried it on the high resolution, it got to 92 like this. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. 92 down there. It got to 92 like this. And then the computer just slowly, slowly crashed. And it's doing a similar thing right now, actually. It might actually crash again. I'm not confident about what I'm seeing right now. I mean, it's still moving. Ah, uh, we'll find out pretty soon. We'll find out pretty soon if it just crashes. All right, done. So it clearly struggles at 
for some reason. And maybe it didn't actually crash those few times. I mean, the whole computer just stopped responding. But maybe it didn't actually crash those times before and was just kind of still calculating. Alright, so there you go. So now we have the shadow of the exclamation mark, but you can kind of see how the shadow of the exclamation mark is pretty low. It's pretty low resolution. It's kind of just polygons there, right? And the buttress is not even casting shadows. Because uh, it's like there's not small enough, there's not enough detail here to have the shadow of the buttress. Uh, which I guess means we should shrink the size of this thing again. Let me make this smaller again. 200 by 200. We'll make it that size. And now we have the issue that uh, not everything fits. Well, no, things still fit. All right. So now it's it's more like a pathway. It's no longer a giant ground that you can walk across. Now the S, the letter S, is just like a, a pathway. Right, if we play this, the letter S is just like this wide. It's, uh, what is that, like three, three or four meters wide? I mean, it's still kind of large. You can kind of tell it's an S, or maybe you can't. Maybe you can't tell it's an S. And when we get to the narrow bits, uh, you notice that it's well, it's this decent. So it's still like as wide as a road. The geometry. I'm just wondering how the game handles giant landscapes. Then, if it's, I guess it just needs a lot of light maps. All right, so let's just uh, make it like this and build this. So if we get down to a scale where the buttress actually casts a shadow on the S, then uh, that might be good. It is interesting to see the limits of of the game engine, or at least the limits of my computer, in uh, doing this light mass calculation. I should probably shrink the, the volumes again. Or maybe not, because I do intend to make a... No, let me just leave the volume as it is. Um, I do want to test more materials and... and and, and like lit materials, emissive color is what they call it. I want to test those, so I need to make a thing that casts a shadow and then I need to make like uh, glowing materials and see how that looks. I mean, this is slow right now. We're mostly just waiting for the lighting because I'm testing the lighting, right? I'm testing the, the lighting, and so this part is super slow. Uh, if we're just placing geometry, then we wouldn't have this much waiting to do. Although, this does happen rather often in game design, it's just waiting. Alright, so this is, this is much better. Alright. So this is much better, and even the buttress is casting a shadow sort of. I mean, it's not that high quality, the shadow, but it's pretty good. All right, good. Good. We're done. We're done with that. Uh, this thing is... 
Is it still above the box? Like that, if I play there... No, that's correct, alright. So, uh, this thing... We don't really need to move it, let me undo that. Buttress... Okay, so, let me... Uh, save all... Should we launch this? Actually, let me launch this briefly. And just see how this looks in the world. Processing assets for Windows. I like sometimes it just stops and I I don't know if I should be concerned. Deploying executable and assets. Also remember that we are on preview quality lighting, so it's not actually going to be this um, low quality, the lighting. Alright, here we are. There we go, buttress is... Uh, I mean, there you go, there's a shadow there on the buttress. You can just walk over this buttress, that's how small it is. Exclamation mark, cast a shadow, the giant S. Alright, alright, good. Good, 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 good. Good that we are... Uh, have gotten this far after a bit of crashing. So, materials experiments. Let's go just make a AM black. And this is literally gonna be black. Constants, three vector, just black, like super black. Alright, there's that, save. And then material yellow glow. Yellow glow is going to have a um, constants three vector. Let me pick a nice color. Let me pick a nice color there. It's going to be base color and also emissive color. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I guess that's correct. I'm going to move this. Break links. I guess that's the same thing, really, isn't it? Uh, I want to multiply, actually. Let me break this. Break this link. Um, math, multiply, uh, constant 5, C constant 5, there, emissive color. Okay, that is super bright. Wow, hey. That is some glowing yellow. Alright, maybe I can make this a little... more contrast. Not that it matters too much. Oh man, look at that glow. Wow, that's crazy. That is super bright. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, save. All right, good. So, what if we... Uh, how do you group things? So like this... 
So we select those group. Okay, but how do I? All right, now they're grouped. And so if I start rotating this, it'll rotate as a group. All right, great. Good to know. So what I'm going to do is content alphabet soup. We're going to go S. Um, maybe I should do this view. Zoom into that guy and if we can. All right, S and then eight. Wherever that is. Maybe I should, uh, hold on, let me just delete those. Let me just put it on this one. S. H. A. D. O. W. Shadow. Uh, the kerning is a little bit whack. I wonder if I should like move them closer together and have them overlap. I do understand that the letters are overlapping like that. Shadow. Alright, so now we take these. Uh, actually, where are these things? There? Wait, but no, but the other letters are... Oh, why is it there? Why? Uh, align... Transform... Align... Uh, uh, what? Anyway, no, I could just change this right. So this one is zero there. So we, we zeroed the y axis. Okay, there you go, shadow. So now we look at that. Shadow is one coherence. Although there's overlapping, I wonder if overlapping is a problem. The fact that the uh, Geometry overlaps like that. Anyway, so we take that, we group, group those, group actor, group actor one. So this is um, this is rename, re. Wait, how do I rename this? Group actor details. I can't rename the group. I must be able to rename the group. Rename, there you go. Uh, no, can't copy, duplicate. I can't rename group actor? That's, uh, unexpected. Huh. You can't rename groups? I need to figure out this stuff, like how to um, rename things. Okay, so let's say we rotate by 90. Oh, before we do that, 
the light source. Let's rotate this. to that, and in fact, let's rotate this to that, well, hmm. this is uh, awkward, let me go zero this, alright, zero that, so I want to go this way, actually, there, and there. All right, we're going to put the shadow that way. And then shadow, it's going to go, no, I'm just going to leave it like this, and uh, move. Shadow to here, scale, shadow, 20, maybe this can be like a 5. Oh, look, it doesn't, uh, <laughs> I mean, you can group them, but it doesn't uh, scale the way you expect. How how can I The group doesn't do what I think it does. Huh. The group doesn't do what I think it does. How can I scale this? I guess I can't, is the answer. I guess I can't. Alright, so... Negative 90. Let's put that there. Alright, well, well let me just scale this up and then I have to move the letters again. That's fine. What did I say? 20... 5... 20... 20 is too much. Let me go. 10... 5, 10, uh, we don't need the exclamation mark right there, let me just move the exclamation mark over there. Hmm. New folder, uh, word, shadow. All right, good. And um, new folder, word, buttress. I'm just gonna put this stuff here. So, is the group like not useful at all? Uh. Maybe I delete the group. Delete. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Ungroup is what I want. Groups. Ungroup. I guess unlock is also useful. Let me just um, ungroup. So you got S. H A Okay, I need to move this stuff further along S H A D O W Shadow Alright, there you go, Shadow 
and shadow. It's a big shadow. Our shadow is gonna be uh, black. Mm, fascinating. So what is the the default light mesh is, is only 64. I'm kind of worried about the size of that. 64 might not be enough. Uh, is it still within the... I guess it is. Alright, so we have shadow... Actually, I should move it down a bit, shouldn't I? D-O-W Let me just move shadow down. Maybe not quite that much. Alright, shadow... Let me build, let me uh, save or oh. let me build this, see what this looks like. And like, I can put more stuff there to block more light if I want to. Actually, what's my skylight doing? How bright is the skylight? Room resolution 128, that's all that's captured scene. Intensity, I should probably reduce the intensity of the skylight. Cast shadows, cast static, cast dynamic. I should reduce the uh, yeah, I should reduce the intensity of the skylight, and maybe also the sun. Now that I think about it, light source intensity seven two point seven five. It's uh, it's taking a while. It stopped at ninety five percent. If you're wondering, like behind here, oh there you go, done. Encoding textures, encoding light map. All right, so now shadow is casting a shadow. <laughs> It's look. Everything is gonna be puns. Everything is gonna be puns. Shadow is casting a shadow. You don't even know. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be puns everywhere. All right. All right. It looks pretty cool to me. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I like it. Alright, so we start here. And there are shadows. You can see the resolution is not that great, but that's fine. Although it looks great on the other side. I guess it's just further away. Alright, so shadows, so the sun's over there. The shadow is casting a huge shadow over everything. Buttress is now in the shade. That is pretty cool. Alright, what happens if I walk off here, by the way? Oh, nothing? Nothing happens if I walk off? 
Wait a minute, what's the bounding box on this S? I think the bounding box on the S is just a rectangle. Because look, if I walk up... Okay, the bounding box of the S is just a rectangle, I think. I can walk up here, right? I can jump up here. Oh, I can't jump through the O. Alright, so the bounding box on these letters is not the actual mesh. The bounding box is a rectangle around the mesh. What if I walk this way? Oh, and we fall, uh, and... And the game crashes. Alright, so the game crashes when you walk off the edge. Well, it doesn't crash, I guess it just stops. Uh, can we make this smaller? Light source 2.75, what if I make this like 1? And then what do I make the skylight like uh, 0.5? Okay, this is uh, getting interesting now. And then... Let me put... Another... Another thing in here, right? Question mark. And then this one is going to be. Gl I didn't. I didn't say to make that glowing. I'm going to make this glowing. This is going to be a glowing question mark next to your buttress. Uh, let me just um. Rotate that there and like move that back there. So I want to. What I want to know is whether this thing actually glows in the game engine or not. Um, physics collision lighting. Allow using emissive for static lighting. Cast shadow. Use vertex normal for foliage. Nope. Shadow indirect only. Use emissive for static lighting. I think I need to enable that. What I want to see is yellow light coming out of the question mark, right? Let me build this. Again, this might take a while. I also made the uh, so I made the sky and the sun dimmer, so that the glowing question mark will be brighter in com in comparison. So that's why I made those darker. So now let's see if the glowing question mark is uh, actually emitting light. And if it is, maybe we put in more of them. I mean, the, the rendering doesn't seem to be taking very much longer than before. Uh, content alphabet soup. So if you open this stuff up. Bounding box collision. The collision... So the collision is the... Uh, it's the light blue geometry. All right, so it's like a it's like a box. It's not a. The collision is not the. Not the shape itself. Fascinating. How would I recalculate the collision? Double sided geometry, symbol collision. Uh, collision complexity, project default. Hmm, interesting. I guess we can use complex collision if we want. So if we look at this, and we, oops, if we go look at collision, it's like a little lozenge shape, right? Standard mesh settings collision. Simple and complex. What does that mean? Use complex as simple. So this 
this would turn the actual S into a, the collision. Let me uh, close that for now. Oh, look! The the yellow light is actually it's actually glowing, and the B is lit by the yellow light on this side. Look at that! That's amazing. All right, let's, let's look at it. Let's uh, save all that. Also, I changed the. Did I change? Did I change it back? I forgot if I changed the S back. We'll find out pretty soon. If we walk off the edge, walk off the inside edge of the S, and we fall off, then then I've changed it. So interesting. <laughs> so interesting. So after spending like an hour crashing the computer because the S is too big. Now that we've, we know the limits, right, we come back to this and we can do this in a way that doesn't crash the computer. And uh, we're making progress now. The light map actually takes a while to load, that's interesting. Cool. Hey, that's cool. Look how cool that is. Wow, hey, look at that. That's cool. So the B of the buttress is lit, although the lighting, the light is not, uh... It doesn't get very far, does it? It doesn't get very far. Um... Do I need to make it a lot brighter? How much brighter should I make it? <laughs> how much brighter should I make it? Well, the thing is, we're looking straight at it, and the and the HDR is not kicking in, so I guess it's it's just not very bright at the moment. I mean, the thing, the way to test it would be to um, turn off the skylight and turn off the sunlight completely, and then see how far the the light goes. Maybe I should do that, right? Um, okay, this is gonna take a while. Because it's going to have to recalculate all the light again. So let's say we take uh, the light source and we turn it off. Where do we turn it off? Effects world. Alright, gone. And then we take the skylight. Effects world. Gone. Alright, so there, there we see that this is not actually very bright at all. This physics uh, lighting diffuse boost fully occluded use emissive for static lighting hmm. um Right, so what if we come to content, and we come to materials, yellow glow, what if we do something stupid like make this 50? <laughs> Alright, let me save that. <laughs> uh, and then we, holy cow, and then we uh, recalculate. <laughs> And we will find out how bright that is. I mean, it should be 10 times brighter, but what does that mean really in the game, right? We'll see pretty soon. I mean, I'm hoping it actually affects the world more than before. But we'll, we'll find out. We will find out, indeed. I've turned off two of the lights, so the lighting should actually be faster, I think. Although maybe it calculates those anyway. So we is it in lumens? Is it in, I don't I don't know what units we're working with here. Are they in abstract units? It can't be lumens because five lumens is nothing. 
and 50 looms is also nothing. Although maybe it's like 5 times... It's 5 times 200 or something, because, because the, the color itself is 200. A thousand lumens, and that might actually be about... If it's a thousand lumens, that might be correct. Now it will be something along the lines of 10,000 lumens. Uh, you probably don't know what lumens look like. You can look it up on the internet. L-U-M-E-N, lumen. And so like, if, you, if you know how lumens work, then you kind of have an estimate for how bright something is and how many lumens that is. So like, uh, you know, how many lumens is a light bulb? So like, if you, if you know this stuff, then, then you can kind of estimate the brightness. So basically, a light bulb is like uh, about 2,000 or something, 1,700 or something like that. I mean, light bulbs themselves have different brightnesses, of course. But 10,000 is like a serious, serious spotlight, is what I'm trying to say. I am sad that it doesn't go very far. Now, why doesn't it go very far? Why does it stop there and not extend further than that? Emissive color. Surface. Opaque. Default lit. Translucency, translucency, self shading. Forward shading, post process refraction, lightness, light mass settings, diffuse boost, export. No, that's not it. Previewing thumbnail. Why does this light not go further than what it appears to do? So now the whole world is not lit. And and this light doesn't go very far. In fact, it doesn't go any further than before. It's brighter, but it doesn't go any further than before. And the thing is, like, light's not even it's not even in the right place. It's, just, it's in slightly the wrong place. I mean, yeah, like that. That's super weird, right? Like the fact that the light doesn't actually extend very far is super super weird. Also disappointing. <laughs> it's disappointing. Um, cancel. I guess we. I guess it doesn't work like this. I guess if we want actual light, then we need to. Let me just crank this up to something stupid, like five thousand, and save. So, like, when we crank this up to something stupid, then you start to see that. Uh, it's unintuitive in the way it functions, right? Well, we'll see, we'll see. If, if 5,000 and it's still just a tiny little spot, like a really, really bright but tiny little spot, then we have to conclude that the light doesn't work the way we think it works, and uh, we have to do something else. Which is a shame. It's a real shame. Um, use emissive for static lighting. So if we go UE for use emissive for static lighting, not working. Well, use the emissive input, use emissive for lighting question. How can I use my emissive material for lighting? In UDK there was use emissive lighting option, but in Rocket I can't find it anywhere. Huh. 
I see there's a few, few people honestly getting confused. In beta test the report no longer relevant, it's being kept for archiving purposes. The feature has since been added to the engine and can be turned on in the material properties. It is checkbox labeled. Requires the use of light propagation volumes. It's still rather new and a bit experimental. Well, this was back in um, 2014, so that's like several years ago. Light propagation volumes? Light propagation... What is going on? Well, the lighting build is, is done, but again, you can see that the light doesn't actually expand further than that. Light propagation volume. Whatever that means. It's not even a thing here. Well, level streaming. If you want to make a, a really big level, you need level streaming for the uh, open world stuff. I mean... Well, look, the light is hitting the... Let me just save that. There must be a, a limit here. There must be a radius that I am missing. There must be a, a radius. It's because the, the light should affect things that are further away than this. <laughs> right, right? I mean, that's super weird, right? So there must be a, like a lighting radius here that I'm not... Although, look, the S there is being lit. But like, the exclamation mark is not being lit at all, even though it's closer than this S on this side. I think the S is actually receiving light um, being bounced off there. This is super weird, man. And like, this little bit on the W there is being lit. I think. Although I don't know what that's about. Alright, that, that's super weird. Interesting, but super weird.